at 10. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Hoover. Tonight, an upstate family is desperate, desperately hoping someone finally comes forward exactly one year after their son was killed in a violent hit and run. Today, the young man's mother returned to the road where she lost her son. Our Tobias Rodriguez was there. Say that time heals all wounds, which <laughs> it doesn't. I think that in this case, when you lose a child, it gets worse. It's been a year to the day since April Fagan saw her son Christian Batten alive. Batten was hit by two vehicles walking across the East North Street in Greenville. His mother says today was a heavy dose of reality, realizing her son and best friend is still not by her side. If there was anybody in this world that I would just love to just hang out with or play a game or see a movie or go out to eat or just anything, it was him. The second car that hit Batten left the scene and that's the driver officers believe killed him. His family says there will not be justice until the person who took their son is caught. He didn't leave us behind. He was taken from us. Today, flowers lined the ground on which Batten took his last steps. Blue balloons were sent to the sky above as a way of celebrating the life he lived. His mother says parents should never forget to tell their children how much they care. And tell them that you love them. Tell them you're proud of them. Tell them you're there for them and to be careful. The pain was overwhelming remembering Christian Batten, but his stepfather says there is hope his family will find closure. One day, you know, whether or not it's justice here or it's answering to somebody else in another place one day. Reporting in Greenville, Tobias Rodriguez, 7 News. The driver of the second vehicle that hit Christian Batten has not been found. It was a white SUV that suffered damage to its front undercarriage, wheels, and possibly the tire. If you know who the driver is, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 23 Crime.